So what if a neighbor doesn't like the way your wind turbine looks? You and I have an insatiable appetite for electricity. Come with me and we'll look at the issues relative to wind farms and the communities that they serve. This is The Wind Farm Guy. Hi, this is Dennis Stout, and thank you for joining me for this episode of The Wind Farm Guy. Let me first say, I am not an attorney, and this really is a legal issue. Talk to an attorney if you want more in-depth information, but this video is simply me sharing my opinion. Okay, so beauty really is in the eyes of the beholder. It doesn't matter if you're looking at a property, a person, an investment a scene or a wind turbine. Some will like some aspects and not like some others, while the next person may like the opposite. That's kind of what makes the world go round, isn't it? Wouldn't life be boring if we all liked and did the same things? I've had some say that turbines are ugly and others praise how majestic they look. Some folks like them and some don't. I was recently asked regarding a particular project why the company was citing them where they were. My response to them was, that's a great question and has a great answer. We live in America and you can do on your property what you want to do on your property. Every location where a turbine is cited is there because that landowner wants one. They are doing on their property what they want to do on their property. Isn't America a wonderful place? The argument that they don't like the looks of a turbine or the turbine ruins the view really is a property rights issue. Essentially, they're wanting to tell a neighbor what they can do on their property. More importantly, what they can't do. However, those same people would never allow anyone else to tell them what they can or can't do on their property. This issue has gone to court in Texas, and the court ruled in favor of the individual landowner. Again, I'm not an attorney, but William Holmes is, and he wrote in a Renewable Wind blog stating, and I quote here, the court noted that Texas case law recognizes few restrictions on the lawful use of property and ruled that under Texas law, there is no nuisance action for aesthetical impact. Holmes added, in other words, the turbines were not a nuisance just because the plaintiffs thought they looked really ugly. He went on to say the plaintiffs' remaining nuisance claims were based on the noise that the turbines allegedly produced. The jury found against the plaintiffs there as well. Thank you for your article, Mr. Holmes. If you like what we've discussed today, please click like and subscribe below. If you have thoughts or want me to address a particular topic relative to wind farms, please leave me a comment. Folks, progress is inevitable. And humans are change averse. We don't like change and want change to go away. We want things to stay the way they are. However, that's not reality. Change happens and progress marches on. I want to close by pointing out something. When the World Trade Centers were built back in the 1970s, New Yorkers hated them. They said they had their beautiful skyline, then these two things sticking up and ruined it. Three decades later, when they're gone, what were New Yorkers saying then? Things like, it's like they ripped our heart out and they ruined our skyline. Adding those buildings ruined the skyline and removing them ruined the skyline. Sounds kind of silly, doesn't it? So what changed? Time. Nothing but the passage of time. The battles we fight today in attempts to stop change will be considered silly tomorrow. Interstate highways, massive sports venues, transmission lines, airports. Our world is full of those things we fight so much today that become normal tomorrow. Wind farms are the same. 
If you have a chance to visit with someone who lives around a wind farm that has been there for a couple of decades, I encourage you to do so. Chances are, they don't even see or hear a thing. Fighting change is not a new thing. Let's work toward the future. This is Dennis Stout, and I'm the Wind Farm Guy. Thank you for watching. Working together, we can make good energy decisions and save our planet. I am the Wind Farm Guy.